Let, let's talk some uh, some of the Resident Evil movies. Some news that just dropped today. Uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> uh, details over the upcoming Resident Evil movie have been released alongside a handful of first look photos. Uh, the film is set to be an adaptation of the first two games, opting to mash up their events and characters such as Leon Kennedy, Jill Valentine, Albert Wesker, as well as both Chris and Claire Redfield. Uh, the film's director, Johannes Roberts, who has previously worked on movies such as 47 Meters Down and The Strangers Pray at Night, uh, gave a plethora of details to IGN, including that his stab at the franchise is a clean slate completely separate from the previous movie franchise, which, if I remember correctly, had six or seven movies in them. I believe it's it, one of those. It others. had too many. It, it, it had. Yeah, it had seven too many. Uh, uh Johannes is instead aiming for a pure horror um, instead of sci-fi action. Uh, alongside the two photos showcasing some of the aforementioned characters, interesting tidbit comes from the inclusion of uh, Lisa Trevor, a bioweapon originating from the remake of the original game that was brutally experimented on and wore the dead faces of her victims. The uh, film's director states that Lisa is set to play a pivotal role in the movie versus just being a... Uh, recurring uh, bioweapon in the remake. Uh, general thoughts. It looks like a film student movie, and I hate to say that, but I woke up and the first thing I saw was those screenshots, and a part of me just went, ooh. Like, I was just like, like I was just like, ooh. My, yeah, like, my impression of that, I'm just like, did you guys not have, like, the lighting set up? Is this, like, a candid photo yeah. someone did with their phone? Well, like, like that's yeah. the thing I can think of, is because a lot of uh, movie directors have been doing that recently. I know, uh, what's her name, who's in the uh, Borderlands movie, the actress who's playing uh, tennis. Uh, name has escaped me, but she's also in the Halloween films. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, she's she's the one taking all the candid photos on set of that. Like, she's doing it with, like, in, like, a nice lit hallway, and it's, like, using, like, probably, like, an iPhone 12 or something. But, like, these look like they're straight out of, like, a film student had to show progress on their, like, on their, on their, like, thesis film. And they're, like, here, sorry, we had to take these at, like, 10 p.m. last night. And it's, like, and it's, like, here it is. And, like, their costumes look like they're from Spirit. Like, it's, I really, I hate to be that person. Like, I, I want to be excited about this, because this is, because, you know, pure horror is evil. But, like, just seeing the screenshots, and I hate to say this, but Lisa Trevor looks like a, a special effects film student. And it just, it doesn't look good. Like, none of these look good. I, I would we, disagree a bit on the, I, I think the Lisa one looks fine. Like, even the lighting, just like, oh, yeah, they, they remember to turn on the lighting for this shot, at least. Yeah. But, um, one, of the, one, of the, one of the film students went, oh, shit. It was, and ran, ran to turn their, like, their, like, lighting up i i remain cautiously optimistic especially since resident evil's uh track record with movies whether animated mm -hmm. or uh or live action is, is pretty freaking low and those live action ones are like super big guilty pleasures of mine those are like ob objectively not great movies like in any regard but um i don't know i i i, I remaining hopeful optimistic that it'll at least be decent I need to see it in motion first. Not yeah, the same. Like I, I need was... to see everything moving. Oh, I, well, I just want to say as a quick disclaimer. Um, <laughs> I don't give a fuck that Leon isn't a uh, white blonde dude. Yeah, no. I, like, if the actor's good, the actor's good. That's all yeah, I give yeah. a shit about. Absolutely. Like the actor looks fine. His costume looks a little yeah. like 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 because when I saw that screenshot this morning, I woke up and I thought it was just because I was half asleep, so I didn't say it out loud on like the Discord or whatever we were, I was on. But like I remember seeing that and just being like, "Wait, did someone like accidentally repost the George Romero like stills from fucking 1990 something and not not realize?" <laughs> and then I saw them like fully awake, and I was like, "God damn, that would have been a good joke." And yeah, that's like, not like a stab at George Romero. That's the that's a stab at you. Your thing looks like it was made in on a low budget in 1996. I, I will eight or whenever the game came out. I will say I'm, I'm not even upset over. Like, I know people are like, "Oh, why isn't Claire's hair in a ponytail?" I'm just like, I I don't yeah, give no, a shit. Yeah, I matter. am really hyped because if rumors from the script are to be believed, his version of Leon is like supposed to be an asshole, and is oh, just is this like, that's like a drunk and like and something no. like that. Yeah, so, like, apparently he's, like, fresh out of the police academy, gets his job in Raccoon City, and then he turns into, like, a drunk at night, and then an asshole cop during, during, during the oh, day. Man. 
And I'm like, I've never wanted to, like, that's just Resident Evil, like, 6 Leon. Or, like, post-Resident Evil 6 Leon. <laughs> Like, I'm like, I want to see that. Like, I want to see a Leon that's drunk at night and a jackass during during the day, only to get woken up when there's a zombie in his face. Just but like I often real life. I, I, want I, that I, want, I want the confrontation between Chris and Wesker <laughs> to be that scene directly from the PS1 version, where he's, like, showing off the tyrant, and Chris is just like, oh, ho, 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 Wesker, you're so ridiculous. And then Wesker's just like, Chris, no, no, stop. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I worked um, really hard on this. God. Was, was one of the guys in the second picture Wesker? We just couldn't see his yes, face? Yes, I okay. believe so. I think I know who it was. It, like, he kind of had, like, kind of slick back hair, but he was, like, facing away from the iPhone 9 that was used to take the picture. But- I'm uh, sorry. Do you have a- what? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Amma, you go, I, and then I have something to add. <laughs> oh, I I have no opinions on this whatsoever. <laughs> like I, Resi- I saw a Resident Evil movie and just got like flashbacks to all the other Resident Evil movies and just like immediately like tuned out. So <laughs> the only the it. only thing. The only thing I noticed is that Robbie Amell is playing one of the characters. He's and, he's a plain Chris. Oh, he's playing Chris. Okay, well, yeah. he's a. What very, do I know that guy from? Uh, he's well, Stephen Amell's brother. Stephen yeah. Amell played Oliver Queen. He was a Green Arrow on TV for like a decade. Okay, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say I don't know any of these names, and then I heard Green Arrow. I was like, oh yeah, I didn't watch that show, but I heard it's good. Go on, Atma. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, like Robbie Amell, for as far as I can tell, seems like a really cool, nice guy in like real life. But his agent gets him some really bad choices for mm-hmm. what he ends up starring in. So the fact that I saw him in this made me immediately wince and go, uh oh. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm looking at the picture and he looks like Chris. He looks like a weird mix. He has like Resident Evil 5 Chris's face and arms, but in like Resident Evil 1 Chris's body, and it's weirding <laughs> me out. <laughs> Yeah. I, like, I'm, like I'm literally looking at it like right now, and I'm realizing like his arm is as big as my head, but he has like the original one. Day. Day. <laughs> I, I'm super <laughs> interested to see how the hell they're going to uh, just mesh uh, the the events of the first game and second together because that that that's a whole lot of shit to cover. That yeah. that's it, 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 so part of me is just like, oh no, this is going to be like super rushed, or the the mansion's going to be like. I don't know, like the first thirty minutes, and they dip, cut out story details, whatever. I mean, um, ca- counterpoint, counterpoint that I'm just started thinking about five seconds ago. We, you know, we've had the conversation. Resident Evil as a series is essentially it is B schlock camp, but like in video game form. So it's like a lot of it is unintentionally great and shit like that. This has the potential, if you know, if our impressions right now are accurate. This could be exactly what a Resident Evil movie should be. Mm-hmm. Something I mean, very unintentionally amazing. Which is kind of I, what the original movies were, but then they got really tryhardy really quick. I I will agree to an extent where like those those at least the first game was, you know, just like this is a Japanese person's idea of what a B uh horror movie is. Yeah. Like so it's already like, hey, B horror movie, it's already very I would I would like to think most of are self aware, some of it's very accidental. You know, yeah. it's just a very dumb, cheesy mm-hmm. horror movie. And then you get an entire other culture's interpretation of that on top of it. So you're like play, playing a game of telephone. No, and it, and it actually don't paid go. <laughs> and it and it paid off so well for the first game. But I, I would say like after the first, like if not the second, like they, they realize like the fucking art, because they have like mastered the art of of the B horror cheese. No, they absolutely have. Well, that's what—that's the thing. Is like, I don't mean to say like say that as a disparaging thing about the series. I just mean as far as like B horror movie schlock is the is the kind of the center of Resident Evil, for, yeah. whether intentional, unintentional, um, better for worse. Like that is seems to be the core, and if, how well you can work with that is how well you can make your thing that's related to it. Yeah. It's it's why like that first Resident Evil movie is like almost a legitimate just good movie on its own, and if you took I feel like I've heard the argument, like, if you took out the Resident Evil name of that first movie and you didn't, like, have it just be all these connections, it would probably still be a pretty kick-ass, yes. like, standalone action movie, basically. Yeah, it, uh, it was totally serviceable. Exactly. I would argue that. And I would argue that Res- that Apocalypse is a decent retelling of Resident Evil 3, but again, if you had just taken the Resident Evil title off of it and named it something else, it would be a fun, schlocky, giant monster film where you have 
nemesis following you and following the characters around me and the end the entire time it's uh, I, I watched a video and i think i sent it to you blaine on this topic that the first two resident evil movies are actually very very pretty okay and it's after it's it's when extinction comes out when they just get really bad <laughs> i'm sorry hearing someone defend the plot of resident evil apocalypse just made my entire chest seize up sorry i, I had to go look at my blu-rays because i have all of them over there so I, i'll go with sarah first two very enjoyable times uh retribution is also the stupidest no, one in the series garbage. it is fucking stupid as shit and that's why it's fucking good you have russian oh. zombies in tanks with chainsaws and it's fucking dope i don't give a shit <laughs> I'm done with the bit. Um, I, I just hate Apocalypse because it ruins Nemesis. That's my whole problem that with that movie. Totally I it's fine. It's hash, fine otherwise. Hash, hash. Say, in order for us to get Odin Fierre as Carlos, we had to ruin something, and I'm okay it, with it, that. It was sad and sympathetic, and I don't want that from Nemesis. We had, to, we had to get rid of something plain. plain <laughs> with, 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 he looks at the fucking... I'm sorry, Jose, but I gotta with, say this. They had a scene where he looks at the main character, Alice, and is all sad and looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> and I'm supposed to take that seriously. <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> would, would you, so would you say hashtag not my nemesis? <laughs> yes, I would. I would. I, I would literally tweet that out <laughs> right the fuck now. Do if it. I wasn't af- no, if I wasn't You're afraid that someone might think I'm making like a weird racist thing or something. Oh yeah. W- within the context of this, I, I think everyone knows. Yeah. We're, yeah. Oh uh, man. Oh man. Oh jeez. No. You know what? The casting for Jill in the second movie is was fucking spot on. No. Yeah. yeah that, they had a good Jill. The characters yeah. themselves aren't bad. It's literally just that one aspect of like, oh god, oh no, and the fact that he barely sh- like because what he shows up like two times. Other than that, I mean, he has the she has a chain gun, which is cool, but like, I, do they ever give him the rocket launcher? Yeah, yes. she hides from yeah. it in a garbage uh, disposal <laughs> thingy, and it yeah. somehow works. And but then she, it's, they and do she has the to, like, whole Indiana Jones bridge thing. thing. The whole where he's like, where he's like, hide in the fridge and you'll survive. But instead of the fridge, it's the garbage. Just okay. You know what? It actually does something very <laughs> stupid. They are in a graveyard and, and uh, dead bodies start climbing out of the grave to attack him. I'm just like, I'm, I get it's an adaptation. They don't have to adhere one to one how the shit works. So I'm just like, oh, that's that's dumb. I mean, oh, I mean, that did happen in the games though, Jose. In <laughs> Once. Code Wait. Veronica, that yeah. yeah. Happened. Were it's they dumb. recently deceased, or were they, dumb. like, yeah. chilling there for a while? No, they were there for a while. Yeah, they okay. were there for a while. Okay. They're, like, you know literally, what? like, skinny zombies that have, like, skeletal arms, and they literally come out of the ground when you walk Okay, that, 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 that's fine. I, I haven't played Code Veronica in, in, like, literally since it was on the Dreamcast. No, 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 yeah. And you're not wrong. That is still a dumb scene. It, mm-hmm. I'm just, I just was like, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm having flashbacks now. That absolutely is in one of those dumb fucking games that I love. I, I have been educated. <laughs> Code Veronica X is great. You should all go play it. I have better I have than done, you remember. I have I have been done and learned it. Uh oh, one thing I forgot that I want to talk about before we move on. Yeah. Um I I'm interested to see what they do with uh Lisa. Because you know, like in, in the mm-hmm. uh she was introduced in the remake of uh the first game. And yeah. so she like she kind of just pops up periodically. She's pretty easy to escape. Her boss battle is not even a boss battle, you just push oh, the and then she just yeets herself off. But yeah. um, interesting to see how that like, she plays a uh, well, I guess quote a pivotal role uh, throughout the entire movie. So, we'll I see. mean, if there's a character in that game that could be explored way more, it's definitely Lisa, and that's like I agree. That's like one of the things I'm like, even if the I don't know what the hell that was. Um, she has an interesting as hell backstory. It, it's yeah, it's isn't, really- she oh, yeah. The, isn't she the daughter of uh, Spencer? Or she no, the she's the daughter house. of uh, the d- other dude. What's his name? Something Trevor. Stephen Trevor. Because I know she was the daughter of Steve one of Trevor? the umbrella people. The Wonder, guy who Wonder designed Wonder the mansion. Uh, the guy yes, who designed yeah. the mansion. Who also <laughs> is on a. Oh, sorry, I talked over whoever said the name. No, I was just making a joke. So, oh, <laughs> damn it, Trevor um, Treverston. Trevor Treverston. But no, um, yeah, like he's the boss. That's the boss you fight in the fucking from the coffin and everything. That's her dad. Yeah, because I'm like, I mean, if you pick up all of the notes in the remake, it discusses her backstory. But I think it'd be really cool to actually like see it 
in motion. I just hope that special effects looks better in motion. I mean, I will say too, like I think those effects one. looked fine in that yeah, shot. Yeah, like fine, and it's cool that they're going for like, um, like a uh, practical effects and yeah. not like a lot of CGI for her because she's something you could easily just do in like, yeah, CGI. So I give them props for trying to stay as like practical as possible. I do but think I it's weird. Need oh, sorry. To see it in- no, no, it's fine. I just definitely need to see it like moving. I don't think a picture does it justice. No, yeah, and I definitely think it's weird mm-hmm. that like considering her design in the games was so like she had that whole big like hole of gaping flesh that you could see like her mouth and everything, even though she was all fucked up underneath. Like mm-hmm. it's weird to see that mask in the movie be like a completely constructed face because mm-hmm. that's also like. Yeah, because in the game, it was like an amalgamation of like multiple people's faces. Just it was, like, yeah, it was like mainly her mother's, but then it was like other shit or something. I think it's implied. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's she's a sad fucking nope. character. Camera doesn't like me today. It's it's too hot. That's probably what it is. My camera's oh, like, boy. nope, fuck that. So we just had our heat wave, and now we're like kind of cooling down. But I still need to use the AC because I can't fucking reach my window. There we go. 